Hi, I'm Steve Morgan, founder of Cybersecurity Ventures and editor-in-chief at Cybercrime Magazine. I'm here today with Nathan Burke, Chief Marketing Officer at Exonius. Exonius is designed to help you master cybersecurity asset management. With pre-built integrations for 345 solutions, Exonius is the easiest way to get a truly comprehensive, up-to-date inventory of all your devices and users. To learn more about Exonius, visit exonius.com. Nathan, welcome, and thank you for joining us today. Sure. Thanks for having me. So, Exonius has a very exciting story. We've been following the company. We're here today to get a demo from you. But before we do that, can you give us a 30,000-foot view of the company, when it started up, anything about the founders or key milestones? Yeah, of course. Happy to. So, um, Exonius was founded in 2017 when our CEO and co-founder, Dean Sisman uh, identified this huge nagging problem that was only getting worse. He was at uh, another cybersecurity company, a deception startup, and he was working with one of the biggest organizations on earth. And in working with them, they were able to identify a nation state attacker on that company's network. But instead of being excited like he was, the, the company said, you know what, we'll, we'll never be able to figure out what device that is even though it was on their own network. So it was easier to find a nation state actor than it was to identify a device. And so Dean was just like shocked by this. And he started asking CISOs and CIOs what I think is a really simple question. And that's how many devices do you have? And he would get the same answer. It's either I don't know, or I've got between 10 and 50,000, which is basically saying, I don't know. And, And Dean would follow up with, well, but wait a second, you've got all of these tools and security that can scan that are endpoint agents. So you have networking here, you have all of this technology. What if you were able to just gather the data from all of those tools, deduplicate and then normalize that data? Wouldn't that that solve the problem to give you an inventory and show gaps? And they all said a variation of the same thing, which is, yeah, it would work, but correlation, data normalization, all that stuff's really, really hard. And so, with that, that's why he formed Exonius in the summer of 2017 with two co-founders to solve that problem. So we had a first version of our product in 2018, our first customer that summer. In 2019, we won the RSA Innovation Sandbox. Um, we were named the most innovative cybersecurity company that year. And since then, we've raised $195 million at a $1.2 billion value, valuation. And we're trying to build the fastest cybersecurity company in history to go from zero to IPO. We've got about 275 employees around the world. HQ is in New York and R&D is in Tel Aviv. Well, a lot of people know it. Uh, we do. We're at RSA. Uh, that sandbox competition is stiff uh, competition. Uh, a lot of companies vying for it. So that's very impressive. And I just love to hear, uh, you know, these startup stories. There's not uh, a whole lot of them where the technology originates from, you know, a founder who is working hands on in the industry solving a problem. So, you know, that that's a great, great setup for us here. Set the stage for the uh, demo. Just tell us a little bit about the Exonius platform before you jump in and and give us the demo? Yeah, sure thing. So the idea is pretty simple. Uh, Exonius takes what we're calling an adapter approach. And the idea is that the platform connects with over 300 data sources. And these are things like VA scanners, networking gear, EDR agents, cloud infrastructure, configuration management, CMDBs, like all of these things, basically anything that can give us information on devices, on users, and cloud infrastructure. So then the system starts collecting and correlating that data and it does exactly three things. So the first is it gives customers a comprehensive and always up-to-date inventory of all the assets. And then it gives customers queries, and you'll see this in the demo, to understand any time an asset deviates from their expectations and their policies. And then third, it gives them custom response actions to automate and decide what they want to do and how they want to address any issue. And so since Exonius doesn't need to have any endpoint presence whatsoever, doesn't install any agents, doesn't sniff traffic or scan. Customers can get up and running very, very quickly, and I'll, I'll show you here in the demo. Well, sounds exciting. We have a global base of CISOs and security leaders who are watching, so take it away and show us the demo. All right. So this is the Exonius dashboard, and if you were a customer getting started today, you would go to the adapter screen here. And as I mentioned, 
Now here we can see that we have 386 different integrations. And if you were a customer getting started, let's say you're using AWS, you would just go in, say add connection, add the details here and the credentials, and that's it. And there's plenty of advanced settings on what to fetch and when and, and that sort of thing. But um, it's really as simple as that. And in this environment, we've got 15 adapters configured. That's really all it takes to get up and running. And so once you've done that, and here in this environment, you can see AWS, uh, Cisco for networking. Our endpoint agent is EPO. We've got Active Directory, um, VMware, and Tenable is our scanner. So in this example, we've got 15 of them. So as soon as you do that, the system then starts pulling back information on assets. And the first thing that you'll notice is this is what each of the different tools and solutions tells us the number of devices are in this environment. So McAfee thinks there's 34,000. Um, Tenable says there's 28,000. So you start to see what each of these different tools tells us for an asset inventory. But we can see once we do that correlation, there's exactly 40,363 devices. And this is something that customers just don't have. And this is the first value they see. Because if you'll remember back to the three things we do, the first is that full inventory of all assets. So this is all of the assets in the environment. And we can just look at, this is what one asset looks like. And we can see this is what Cisco knows about it, some basic details. Eclipsium will give us a little bit more on the OS distribution. Um, EPO knows a little bit more about both um, the device and anything um, that is vulnerable. Same with Active Directory will give you more info. SCCM will tell us more about some software. So each of these different sources tells us something, but what we do is aggregate that all together to show everything that's known about that asset. So first thing, give you that inventory. Show me all of the assets I have. Now the second thing we wanna do is give queries to be able to understand whenever there's gaps. So I'll give one example here, which is show me any Windows device that is missing my endpoint agent. In this case, it's McAfee EPO. Now I can't go to McAfee and say, can you tell me every device that you're not installed on but should be? Doesn't know. What we're able to do with just three dropdowns here is we're saying, show me all devices where the OS is Windows and it's been seen by something else in, a, in the last day. Right, so this isn't a device that's been turned off or decommissioned, and it's not known to EPO. By grabbing this data from multiple angles, we can then run this query. We can show you every device that doesn't meet your policy. Uh, another quick example that we see all the time is people are moving more and more to the cloud. Um, so some of the tools that secure our on-prem uh, devices don't necessarily work at the speed of the cloud. So here we're saying, Show me any AWS uh, instance that is not known to my vulnerability scanner. In this case, it's Tenable. Now I can just run that query and I can see every uh, VM that's in AWS that isn't being scanned for vulnerabilities. So you can see that there's a million of these queries that you could run based on what you have in your policy. And that's exactly what customers do. So they get the inventory first, then they set up queries to understand how everything either fits or deviates from their policy. So we do those two and now we're saying, all right, I know I've got problems, how do I fix them? And that's the third piece is the enforcement center here. Based on any saved query, customers can decide what to do next. It can be as simple as notify. So send an email or um, send an alert to another system. We can create an incident in a ticketing system. So if I find a device that's missing an agent, add a ticket. We can tag within Exonius. We can enrich device or user data using third parties. We can manage CMDB assets. So let's say we find a brand new device that is not in ServiceNow. Well, we can just add an entry in ServiceNow. If we find a device where something has changed and it's not updated in ServiceNow, update it or any other CMDB. We can update VA coverage. So the example I just gave, I find uh, an AWS instance of VM that's not being scanned. We'll just add it to the next scheduled scan. We can deploy files and run commands. We can use an endpoint security agent to isolate, unisolate, or run a scan or an update. 
manage AD services to enable or disable users or devices. The same with AWS services, Azure services, and DNS services. So those are really the, the three chapters. And the last thing I'll mention here on this very brief demo, and of course I can get into any detail, is that our customers are security teams, their IT teams, their infrastructure teams. So what they'll end up doing is creating a dashboard based on what they care about. So if I care about vulnerabilities, well, maybe I just want to see, show me every device with a critical vulnerability, because those are the ones I want to address first, and I want to chart that over time. Or maybe I really care about my OS distribution, or maybe I'm the cloud team, and I, I really just want to know about Azure and AWS and um, anything that is cloud-based. Uh, maybe I just care about software. It really depends on what team is looking at the product, what they care about, and what they want to see on a dashboard. So that is the super, super high level overview of what Exonius does. I'm sure you can see how you can set up any number of queries based on what you care about, but this is the high level uh, overview of the platform. Well, a couple of things, Nathan. First off, I don't think I've seen a chief marketing officer give as uh, an effective demo as you did. So, uh, you know, I feel like I'm watching a CTO. So that that was, uh, you know, a great overview. Uh, I, I have to ask you, are you calling this cybersecurity asset management? Is is that, you know, the, the category that you are paving here? Yeah, it's, it's a great question because we had to start somewhere. Uh, I remember at the very beginning, we started to talk to a bunch of analysts and, and they would say, well, you're not this and you're not that. You're kind of a platypus. <laughs> All right. Uh, I like that. Uh, but we had to start somewhere and we just came up with this term, cybersecurity asset management. But a month ago, actually two months now, Gartner just coined the term CASM. So uh, cyber asset attack surface management. So now it is part of a hype cycle at the very beginning. And this is the, the term that Gartner came out with. So we started by calling it cybersecurity asset management. Now Gartner is calling it chasm um, and, and claiming it as a market. So that's how we got to now. Uh, I think you'll start hearing people using that term chasm more and more, but it's still in its infancy. Gartner only introduced it in July. And amazing when you think about it, you know, I've followed the asset management space going all the way back to, uh, you know, the, the mid 80s, you know, you've had, you know, companies, uh, you know, playing in that space as pure plays, and then a lot of them, them got rolled up into larger IT management infrastructure companies. And in all these years to not really tie asset management to cybersecurity is unbelievable. So you guys are really breaking some interesting ground here. Yeah, I think the the only thing that we can count on, and this is what you see over the years and, and where we are now and, and five years from now, is only one thing is inev inevitable, and that's complexity. Mm. And the more complex our environments, the more fragmented they are, the more device types and solutions we have, the bigger this is a problem, and the more downstream impact to security, to infrastructure. And it is just becoming something that that we're finding CISOs and CIOs are really focusing on now because if they can nail the fundamentals, they can get ahead of the complexity that is inevitable. Now, asset management has typically been on the IT side of the house. What are you hearing from the CISOs and the cybersecurity leaders in particular? Do they get asset management uh, you know, and the tie-in? For sure, yeah. I, it has typically been part of the IT org and in almost every deal, we are talking to the IT org as well, right? They own a lot of the credentials to the systems that we're getting data from. But I think more and more, the security org is the, the downstream consumer of the data. And if, if they're able to get the IT asset management piece right and get the right information, then it makes their jobs easier. So it really is something that it's been a united focus over the last couple of years. I mean, we're only a four-year-old company. But absolutely, um, the security org gets it, um, and then the IT org as well, because at the end of the day, they all want to be using the same data and the same source of information that they can trust. Um, so we talk to both all the time. Well, Nathan, I really appreciate you coming on with us. I, I feel like we have a lot more to talk about, so I hope you'll come on. This is a hot topic, and we can uh, speak some more to each other. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks. I'm Steve Morgan, founder of Cybersecurity Ventures and editor-in-chief at Cybercrime Magazine. 
Joining us today was Nathan Burke, Chief Marketing Officer at Exonius. Exonius is designed to help you master cybersecurity asset management. With pre-built integrations for 345 solutions, Exonius is the easiest way to get a truly comprehensive, up-to-date inventory of all your devices and users. To learn more about our sponsor, Exonius, visit exonius.com. You can keep up with all of our media at cybercrimemagazine.com.